good morning my dear students in this video we discuss the concepts of straight lines look here five concepts first one inclination second one slope third one slope of ab bar fourth one parallel and perpendicular conditions fifth angle between lines now inclination first point if a line makes an angle theta with x axis in positive direction or in anti clockwise direction then that angle is called inclination now we have to write down angle made by the line with x axis in positive or anti clockwise clockwise direction then the angle is called inclination it is x axis it is y axis this line makes angle direction also important here there are two types of directions from x axis to the line it is positive direction you take this it is negative direction but we have to count positive direction positive direction up upward or anti clockwise direction that is called inclination so here the range of inclination is 0 to 180 range of theta here 0 less than or equal to theta less than 180 degree so inclination never cross 180 never equal to 180 if it is equal to 180 that become that we count as zero now x axis inclination is zero y axis inclination is 90 note inclination of x axis is zero y axis 90 any horizontal line inclination is 0 degree any vertical line inclination is 90 degree okay now so second concept the angle made by the line is inclination the tangent of the angle is called so tangent of the angle of inclination is called slope denoted by m second one tangent of the angle of inclination is called slope denoted by yam that is called tan theta yam is a real number if theta is 90 tan 90 is infinity not defined so any vertical line slope is not defined y axis inclination is 90 tan 90 is infinity that was not a real number so any vertical line inclination is not defined vertical line inclination one vertical line slope equal to infinity inclination 90 that's why that is infinity tan 90 that is infinity
स्लोप ऑफ ए बी बॉर ए एक्स वन वाई वन एंड बी एक्स टू वाई टू आर टू पॉइंट देन द स्लोप ऑफ ए बी बॉर इज वाई टू माइनस वाई वन बाई एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन वेर वाई टू द पॉइंट एक्वल टू एक्स वन वाई वन बी इक्वल टू एक्स टू वाई टू आर टू पॉइंट स्लोप ऑफ ए बी बॉर is m equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 we can easily prove this a x1 y1 b x2 y2 draw perpendiculars from the given points a and b l m from a to m b that is n let theta be the inclination here theta it is origin x axis y axis a x1 y1 that means o l is x1 AL is y1, B x2 y2. That means OM is x2 and BM is y2. OL x1, AL y1, OM x2, BM y2. Now in triangle ANB. ट्रांगल ए एन बी टैन टीटा इक्वल टू बी एन बै एन बी एन कैन बी रिटर्न एस बी एन कैन बी रिटर्न एस लुक बी एन कैन बी रिटर्न एस बी एम माइनस एन दट इज वाई टू माइनस वाई वन While a n can be written as o m minus o l, that is equal to y two minus y one by x two minus x one. That is slope of the line joining the points a x one y one and b x two y two. If any two coordinates are given by using this formula, we can easily find the slope of the line a b. now we are going to one example going to one example a 3 4 2 7 1 1 slope of ab equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that equal to minus 5 by 4 that is the slope of the line A B here slope is positive that indicates line inclination is acute slope is negative line inclination is obtuse because the range of inclination is zero to one eighty zero including and one eighty excluding never cross one eighty. The range is zero to one eighty only. Now we are coming to the point of parallel and perpendicular conditions. That means if two lines are given, if they are parallel, what about the relation between their slopes? If they are perpendicular, what is the relation between their slopes? Now. Let L one and L two are two lines, two non-vertical lines, non-vertical lines. Their slopes are L one and L two. 
1. L1 parallel to L2 implies an implied M1 equal to M2. L1 perpendicular to L2 implies an implied M1 M2 equal to minus 1. The relation between them. Now we have to take the lines slopes, the lines inclinations are theta 1 and theta 2. We are going to prove let theta 1 and theta 2 are inclinations of L1 and L2. First one. L1 parallel to L2. What happened here? Here it is L1 and it is L2. Automatically their inclinations are equal. Whenever L1 parallel to L2, these two inclinations made by the lines are equal. Theta 1 equal to theta 2 implies tan theta 1 equal to tan theta 2 which implies m1 equal to m2 first one is over hence proved now second one l1 perpendicular to l2 let us take two lines draw two lines perpendicular to each other These two are perpendicular lines. It is L1 and it is L2. You can take anyone. L1 inclination is theta 1. L2 inclination is theta 2. It is exterior angle in the triangle. Exterior angle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. Theta 2 equal to clearly 90 plus theta 1. Tan theta 2 equal to tan of 90 plus theta 1. That is minus cot theta 1. That is minus 1 by tan theta 1. It is tan theta 2. Cross multiplication. Tan theta 1 into tan theta 2 equal to minus 1. That implies that m1 m2 equal to minus 1. Here implies and implied. Converse also true. So if l1 perpendicular to l2, then the product of the slopes is minus 1. Here the lines are non-vertical lines. Why you are taking non-vertical lines? If the vertical lines you are taken, that was not applied. Because to vertical lines, if you take one vertical line, that line slope not defined. So, this formula is not applicable to vertical lines. Okay. Now, we discuss angle between two lines. If theta is the angle between the two lines L1 and L2, then how to find that angle theta? If you know the slopes of the lines, L1 and L2. Let us take M1 and M2 are the slopes of the lines L1 and L2. Tan theta equal to M1 minus M2 by 1 plus M1 M2. If theta is acute angle, tan theta is positive. That's why you have to take modulus. Let us take theta. Let theta be the angle between L1 and L2. Then acute angle particularly. Then tan theta equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 modulus. Where theta is acute. Theta is acute. There are two types of angles between the lines. One is acute and another one is obtuse. If they are not perpendicular, definitely two types of angles are there. One is acute angle and another one is up to his angle. Now we are going to proof. Here, take two intersecting lines L1 and L2.
the angle between the lines is theta theta let it l1 let it be l2 theta1 is the inclination of o, l1 theta2 is the inclination of o, l2 clearly theta1 is exterior angle of triangle so theta1 equal to theta plus theta2 exterior angle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles implies tan theta1 minus theta2 equal to theta therefore tan theta equal to tan of theta1 minus theta2 by using tan a minus b formula m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 because we get tan theta1 minus tan theta2 by 1 plus tan theta1 tan theta2 so we get m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 but theta is acute theta is acute implies tan theta is positive therefore tan theta equal to modulus of m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 